Anyone who's RV'd for very long knows that RV park Wi-Fi is often spotty at best, especially if the nearest transmitter is over on one side of the park and your campsite just happens to be on the other side. Besides distance, trees, structures, power lines, and other RVs can also degrade the signal. We were recently talking with our friends, Nikki and Jason of Gone with the Winds, about a device they use to improve their Wi-Fi connectivity. Our friends, Chris and Cherie of Technomadia also have the same system. Since they're all RV tech gurus who know how to stay connected better than anyone else we know, we decided to install the same type of equipment. We ordered the Wi-Fi Ranger Elite Pack, which includes everything we need to strengthen our connection to weak Wi-Fi signals. This model is perfect for RVs with a built-in ladder or a Batwing TV antenna or some other vertical structure to mount it on. If you want to flat mount a Wi-Fi Ranger directly to the roof, the Elite Pack FM is the model to order. We'll start on the roof, installing the antenna using the two circular clamps and two cable ties that are included with the kit. We'll also need a caulk gun with some Dicor self-leveling lap sealant, a wire cutter, a roll of electrical tape and a small Ziploc bag, a socket wrench or a Phillips head screwdriver, a putty knife, Eternabond tape and mineral spirits. To keep things neat and tidy, we'll also be adding some additional cable ties, plus we'll need a few paper towels and a pair of nitrile gloves. First, plan out where you'll be running the cable from the roof to the inside of the RV. The refrigerator vent is a popular roof access point and the way we routed the cables when we installed solar panels on our bounder. Our Numar has a conduit running directly from the ceiling above the electronics compartment to an access plate on the roof. You may have seen us remove it when we got rid of our internet satellite dish last year, and we're going to open it again today. We'll start by attaching the Wi-Fi Ranger antenna to our RV's Batwing antenna. We'll use the two included circular clamps to hold it to the arm. Position the clamps into these two slightly recessed areas of the antenna, which helps keep them firmly in place. You can see we installed the clamps all the way at the top of the arm. This extends the Wi-Fi Ranger antenna completely above the top of the bat wing for the best possible reception. Before going any further, carefully stow and raise your antenna to make sure that nothing you just installed interferes with the mechanism operating normally. The main place to check is along the side of the bat wing to be sure there's no conflict when the antenna is moving up or down. We'll use one of the included zip ties to secure the cable in place right under the antenna. Then trim off the end with our wire cutter and repeat the process further down the arm. To keep things neat, we've added in a few additional zip ties to attach the Wi-Fi Ranger's cable to the existing TV antenna wire. Now we'll use our putty knife to expose the heads of the screws on the conduit access plate. Then we'll remove the screws and use our putty knife again to slice through the die core that's holding the plate in place. Our roof is fiberglass and pretty impervious to just about anything. If you have a TPO or EPDM roof, commonly referred to as a rubber roof, be careful not to cut or damage the roof material with the putty knife. After removing the plate, scrape away as much excess die core as you can. Using mineral spirits on a paper towel or rag, thoroughly clean all of the die core off the metal plate. We also want to use mineral spirits to clean the die core off the roof. But here again, if you have a rubber roof, be very sparing with it. Soaking a rubber roof with mineral spirits can weaken the adhesive that holds the material to the roof structure. It's also important to protect the delicate Ethernet connector at the end of the Wi-Fi Ranger's cable. We wrap it with a small plastic bag and then wrap the entire thing with electrical tape. When we removed our satellite dish, we left an extra cable inside the chase for pulling new cables through in the future. We've used electrical tape to attach it to the last couple of feet of our Wi-Fi Ranger's cable. Have a helper inside the RV pull them through the chase while you feed them down from the roof. Be sure to leave enough slack for any needed movement. We'll put down a bed of die core around the opening and reinstall the metal plate. Tighten the screws back into place. 
then die core around the entire perimeter of the plate and over the heads of the screws. We're going to protect the Ethernet cable from damage by securing it to the roof with Eternabond tape. Eternabond will never come off, so be aware of that before you start working with it. Our roll is six inches wide, but three inches is more than enough to do the job, so we're cutting it in half. Remove the backing a little at a time, positioning the center of the tape over the cable as you go. Once the tape is in place, roll it down to permanently seal it to the roof. Eternabond works great on all types of roofing, fiberglass, rubber, or metal. It sticks to anything. Now that we're done up here, let's head inside. Here's where our cable comes into the electronics compartment. You can see we removed all of our equipment to make working in here as easy as possible and to do some cleanup and rearranging at the same time. Now that everything is back in place and we've removed the electrical tape and plastic bag from our Ethernet cable, we'll plug it into the correct port on the included Wi-Fi Ranger Go 2. Then connect the power cord. The system comes equipped with connections for both 110 volt and 12 volt power, so you can choose which you prefer. Once the system powers up, we'll Velcro it out of the way. Now our Wi-Fi Ranger is a valuable asset in our arsenal of mobile connectivity options. Not only does it boost weak RV park Wi-Fi signals, but it can also reach out to hotspots that would otherwise be too far away. We recently spent a night in this parking lot and were able to get onto a network from a coffee shop about one quarter mile down the road. We love our Wi-Fi Ranger and we'll share more about our experience using it in a future video. In the meantime, be sure to use the discount code WFRGEEKS to get a 5% discount off your entire purchase at WiFiRanger.com. Check out our videos about patching holes and preventing leaks in your RV roof and visit us at thervgeeks.com for more great RVing content. Thanks for watching.